Hello and welcome to Fender Play Live. I'm your host, Eugene Edwards, and you may have heard musicians use terms like groove or in the pocket, but what do those terms really mean? Well, playing a groove is one of the most essential rhythm skills for players of any genre, and today we're going to break it down and show you why. Plus, our special guest will be showing us what you can do with that solid rhythm foundation, and you, you're not going to want to miss that. Uh, we'll be focusing more on bass guitar, so this goes out to our four-string brethren today, but this is uh, absolutely applicable to all instruments, so let's get to it. Helping me out today is a tremendous talent, the gregarious and grooving Divinity Rocks. Hey, Hello, Divinity. Woo, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I am so excited to have you on the show. Uh, I uh, and and of course our, our viewers will find out why uh, very 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 soon. And also helping us out today is the uh, well the tremendously Dylan esque Dylan Calajuri. Doctor Dylan, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Very nice <laughs> to be here. Lovely to be here, indeed. Uh, Divinity Rocks is a bassist who has played with artists like Beyonce and Victor Wooten, and she also releases her own music as well, including an album of children's music that's coming out soon, and we'll be hearing more about that later in the show. Uh, Divinity, can you tell us what you're, uh, what you're playing today, and can you demonstrate it? Yes, I'm playing a right-handed, active, passive four-string, um, Fender Jazz Ultra, um, White Pearl Pit Guard, because nice. it's just fresh mm -hmm. with the modern D-shaped maple neck um, and uh, pearl block inlays with white binding. Wow. It's kind of cool. Let's That's hear special. it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Hey. Ha. <laughs> Like a, it's like you're playing a snare. I, I was like, okay, so we'll talk about those grace notes and stuff a little later. That was that was fantastic. And Dylan, what are you playing? And can you demonstrate it, please? Uh, well, I'm playing one of my uh, oldies but goldies. It's a '72 Deluxe Telly. I'll show you guys family what it heirloom. Like. It's an heirloom. It's a family heirloom. <laughs> lovely that was lovely it's yes, a guitar it. in transition yes <laughs> okay cool okay good and uh dylan what am i playing this is the american <clears throat> you are playing an american performer strat hss with a lovely mm -hmm. maple neck uh right. you've got the black on black and it's got the white accessories quite mm -hmm. lovely and the push pull so this humbucker becomes a single coil uh in the, wait i should probably turn it up here or Ooh. Great value. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough of me. Let's get to it. As always, today's episode is just a quick crash course, but check the links in the description for more in-depth lessons on grooving and playing in the pocket. And drop your questions in the comments. We'll try to get to them if we can. Uh, let's start at the top with, uh, with what strong rhythm playing is. I think we should start with hearing it in action. Divinity, can you okay. demonstrate this for us? And don't hold back, although I don't think you're capable of it anyway, but don't hold back. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we gonna do a little drum right. key. Just a groove. And just move. I'm a beat girl. Never been the weak girl. Never been the quiet little take the back seat girl. I never been prim or proper type of chick to act like she bought this big as papa. Walk like I'm all this. Talk like I'm all this. You think I ain't, but really I. Is. I only Hollywood, I'm no one in the hood They tell me what it is, they think that I'm ears I'm a real raw chick, my flowers is flawless My whole swag hot is cotton like it is And no Botox, it's all real pop They call me Miss Rocks, I rock hip hop Be what you be girl, be what you be what you be Be what you be girl, be what you be what you be Be what you be girl, be what you be what you be Be what you be girl, Hey yo, I'm a be girl Girl. Hey. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> we got, it my was, goldfish was dancing. That was that was <laughs> this was that was, was fantastic. It had groove and it was a it was a, and it was a, a brief biography too in a way. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, a little so, bit. Yeah, that was head spinning. Okay, so obviously <laughs> Divinity, uh, she's a world class player, but but everybody at home, don't lose your cool. We're going to show you how she got there. Uh, let's let's back up. Uh, to the basics and discuss some terms. Divinity, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to groove a baseline? For me, groove means that people are going to move when they hear it. If you're grooving, as soon as you play, people immediately, their body has a reaction to it. Now we could break it down to some rhythm and science and we can talk about, you know, notes and, and all those technical things. But at the end of the day, the groove makes you move. So that's all you got to remember. If you ain't moving, it means you ain't grooving. Right. So it, it's, it's this inherent force that we put in music that, that forces our bodies to react, really. Yes. It, it leaves our brain and goes to our, our body. Absolutely. Interesting. Now, what is, now is, is groove, is, is, is being in the groove, playing in the pocket, are they the same things just in terms of this terminology? Is there, is there a difference there to you? Not really. To me, in order to be in the groove, you have to be in the pocket. Those two things are, are inter, they're intertwined. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, they're one and the same, if you ask me. Um, there are a lot of great musicians that talk about the one, the power yeah. of the one and everybody oh, yeah. being on the one. You know, when I, when I listen to Bootsy Collins talk about uh, James Brown and his uh, ministry of the one. And once everybody gets on that one, we're in the same, we're on the same accord. You know, right. we're in the pocket together. Together. We're in the groove together. So it's this rhythmic thing. It's space. It's time. It's everything intertwined and moving through our bodies, souls. And like I said, if you ain't grooving, you ain't, if you ain't moving, you ain't grooving. It's perfectly put, it perfectly put in the introduction to the, uh, was a, there was a biography of James Brown that came out a few years ago it called The One. Yeah. And in the introduction, it's got this perfect explanation of why The One is so important. In fact, I was a little Richard's uh, Lucille that... The one every, it reestablishes every time, and some great, great rhythm lines feature the one. So that's a, that's a that's a good tip. Always listen for the one. If you're trying to try and establish a groove, listen for the one. Um, Divinity, we already have a uh, we already have a question. Um, oh. It is uh, does uh, what does does wait wait hold on he's typing as I say. okay does being in the pocket require more than one person? Ooh, that's oh. a good one. No man, you heard me in the pocket just now. I was like. <laughs> I'm establishing the pocket. My body is moving. Everything is moving with the groove and the tempo and the time and One. the rhythm. One. Yeah. Ah, see, that's where I'm at. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You know, so like the so you can you can you can establish a groove by yourself so that's 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 just the simple answer that's yes. the answer well that question was from rachel bonnet uh, thank hey you, rachel. rachel for you thanks rachel, rachel. you got it you got the answer now um can i ask you to just give me a quick example like can you play a bass line like let's say doesn't have groove and then put groove in it so we can hear <laughs> the camera. i know i know i'm putting you on the spot so the hard. groove removed i know this i know this <laughs> Like, oh. can you play something like like really straight and then swing it, for instance, or something like that? Hmm. Is yeah, that you Yeah, yeah. And then you want to groove that? You were dying to groove over <laughs> Hey! You know what I mean? Who wants I, to hear that like that? Right, exactly. <laughs> well, groove crimes. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what. Let, let's hear some more groove in action. Can you can you play some Rick James? Yeah, yeah that's that bass okay. line right that's there. Right, that's right. Hey. That's funky. Hold on. Let's put the beat behind that. Yeah. Hey. Anybody know what that song is? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Thank you so much, man. God, Rick James records are so much fun. Listen, that They're was a so groovy fun. man. You know, my very first yeah. concert I've ever went to was a Rick James concert when I was really? a kid. Yes. Wow. And and a, that was a groovy Canadian, Rick James. I got to meet him once. He actually walked into, he came into a, a bar in Hollywood and Vine called Jack Sugar Shack. And we'd, they'd already closed and he came in looking rather confused. And we just all hung out for like an extra hour because he just kind of was still up, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. And he was tremendous. He was great fun. He was a, a great, great guy. Um, oh, we have a, a question uh, okay. uh, from Marilee uh, Baroker. Uh, can you groove in all genres? Ah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. The groove is not just in one genre. I mean, right. the funk is based the funk is based in the groove, but mm. so is groove. every single type of music. Mm -hmm. um, even classical music has a groove to it. Uh, I played this Bach. Um, oh, what is the name of this song? It's 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 this Bach um, in D minor or something like that. Canon. But it, the, yeah, it's a Bach canon in D minor, and the, and it and it has a groove. You know, or even if you go. Like you feel the rhythm, there's a pulse that's mm -hmm. pulling you and pushing and it's making you feel the rhythm of everything. So that's really what the groove is. Right, there's, and there's boogie rhythms. Of hey. Dun, dun. We have got that, Dylan, can you show us some metal? Uh, like a, oh, a, a are metal you kidding? Thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, we can do it. With guitar players, we can get down. Yeah. So let's see. Uh... Woo! So we've got the gallop. The gallop, yeah, the metal gallop. And, and we can do disco shoes. We can put disco boots on. We can do a, this next skate is a, a normal skate in your normal direction. <laughs> As we can get down, it's all about the cutoffs. Like we're working a little bit more like a horn when we're playing uh, in some capacity, but we're, we're all over the board. You know, we do a lot of stuff. Guitar. Yeah. 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 All music, all, all music has its own soul and its own groove. Absolutely. Um, so we've established what this concept of playing a groove is. I think the next question is why is it so important? Whew. Uh, and I think uh, you touched upon earlier a divinity where it, it gets people moving, right? And kind of if you, if you, get, I mean, you get the butt moving and the spirit will follow, I think is kind of <laughs> what, what, we're, what we're going Winston for. Churchill, yes. Uh, Winston yeah. Churchill said that, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it establishes this foundation on which we're going to play this music. Um, being in time is really important because have you ever been at a club and the DJ tries to mix a record and the t the tempos are off balance and you see the entire dance floor it stop kills, moving and it it's like kills the hour <laughs> what the hell just happened da, da, da. oh okay there okay there we go there we go mm -hmm. you know so what happens when you when you lose that groove or when it when it's disruptive or when it's not there mm -hmm. people can't really follow what's happening so it's really important that we that we try to keep and maintain a, a, a steady pulse it's the pulse it's the heartbeat All, each one of us has a heartbeat that is the rhythm of our lives and that mm -hmm. is what the groove is in a music it is our heart rate it is that thumping that's happening in our chest that's keeping and we us. all we all listen to a heart rate before we were even born yes we're all listening to our mother's groove mm -hmm. when well, we're uh, in the womb let's hear another great groove. can we hear some curtis mayfield Ooh, this was a good one That's a cool one. Ooh, that's cool. It'll make you want to do this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not imperfect because I want to go. Every time you play that line. That was a lean, that folks. That was you a saw lean. that? Uh, I was like, oh, 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 hold on to it. Hold on to it. That's a lean. great example of a great groove. And also that bass line is so austere. It's not a lot of notes. It's, and it's really about the space in between the notes, isn't it? 
Absolutely. Space is part of the groove. Space is so important. You know, I think a lot of people see a lot of great bass players come up and, you know, you're... You know, you're playing all these notes 100 miles a minute. The crowd is going crazy. You're mesmerized. You you just don't know, like, oh, my God, I want to learn how to do that. But the most important thing is to be... Ah, one, two, three, yeah, yeah. four... That's funky. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Or, or something so simple as. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of notes. Another one. Right. Hey. Two notes. But it's still grooving. Right. Two notes. So and, and it's time, you know, it's, it's the way they use yes. it in time. Now, we've got a couple of questions. Um, and these are, I think, have a more of a, of a practical um, function here. Um, someone's asking, I'm learning bass. Uh, I'm okay. very basic and mechanical. How do you find the groove? You know, from, from where does that come? I, I guess, or as Sean Pritchard's asking also, how hard is it to start out in bass? And what would you recommend a beginner uh, how to focus on finding the groove? So I would say that one of the best ways to do it is to practice with records. All of my favorite bass players used to sit down once they heard something that they really loved, something that touches your heart, something that a song that you just want to play. You sit down with it and you play the record and you try to play just like the bass player. Try to play with that drummer. Mm -hmm. Imagine that you are on stage with that band and you are the bass player. Try to become that bass player. And start with simple songs that just have a really simple chord progression and maybe some repetition. So I used to sit around and play that Curtis Mayfield song all the time because I grew up listening to it. It mm -hmm. was super cool and funky and it was simple. But it wasn't easy to play to find that groove mm -hmm. and just try to imitate that guy or girl. Um, mm -hmm. One of my favorite um, musicians or bands is James Brown. James Brown always had really great grooves. Bootsy Collins, oh right. my God. If you go back to that Sex Machine Live, mm -hmm. it's five <laughs> minutes of a masterclass in nothing but groove. And it seems so simple what he's playing, but it's the way his bass notes are dancing inside of this mel inside of the rhythm of the drums like mm -hmm. he can he can do anything because the drums is establishing this steady this steady rhythm and he's just dancing all around and he does it for five minutes the same groove yeah. if you can sit and do the same groove for five minutes if you can do this for five minutes mm -hmm. Ain't no way you ain't going to be able to groove. That's right. Because you'll have internalized that at that yes. point. Yes. It is in yes. you. Yeah. Um, now, this actually leads me to something, Dylan. Uh, on Tune Plus, yeah. there's yeah, backing one of the tracks. We can, well, you can help break down these elements within a song you're hearing by being able to identify those elements. And a great way to do that uh, is to hear just a drum set playing a groove or just a bass playing a groove. It helps you kind of uh, see or visualize those things orally as you're hearing them in, in a, a song like the example Divinity was giving. So our Team Plus app does have backing tracks in it that you can access. Of course, it's free, so that's nice as well. And um, it helps you just identify, like some people don't know what a snare sounds like. They don't know what a kick drum sounds like. They're mm -hmm. not sure which one they're hearing. If, if you're in that spot, don't fret. Uh, Actually fret because you're gonna, oh, okay, well anyways. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll stop with that, but anyways. <laughs> don't fret. <laughs> no, fret away, Sorry, fret away. <laughs> Right away. He, he, yes. he was cleaning his wit and it just went off. I don't know what um, happened. It was an accident. And also, and, and going back to Mary Lee's question, uh, we have, there's several genres there too. So uh, so there's country and there's funk and all that. So um, we have, God, this is great. We have so many questions. Um, is, is there a difference between playing in time versus in the groove? 
is it in the accents of the notes and how they're played or how, how's that how's that managed uh, so the, there, i think that there are a lot of things happening when you talk about playing in time and playing a groove the length of the notes uh to help determine the groove mm -hmm. um are you playing eighth notes or quarter notes or are you playing 16th notes are you playing dotted eighth notes or 16th notes now we get into some theory but just think about the length of the note that you're playing are you playing uh are you playing in sync with the drums is your is your is your one dropping down with the kick drum the kick drum tells you a lot about the groove yeah. Hearing where that kick drum is, and I think that's a really important point you brought up, Dylan, about people being able to recognize the elements in a song. Mm. You know, I remember when um, one of my goddaughters, I would I would play music for her and say, "Hey, can you hear the bass?" And she couldn't; she didn't know yeah. what the bass was. Or yeah. can you do you hear the snare drum or the kick drum? So we have to we have to first identify the parts in a song, and mm. uh, and and it'll help to do that with children. That's yeah, a great, yeah. it's, it's fun to do that with children because right. eventually, you know, like months later, a song will come on and the bass line is killing and she goes, wow, that bass sounds great. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And you're exactly. like, yeah, yeah, yeah so kid. She, she can identify it. All right. <laughs> no, uh, let me ahead, toss Dylan. one more thing on there. Please. So uh, there's quite a few resources on the site. That if you're really interested in this and you're lost or you're in it and you want to go to the next level, mm -hmm. uh, stopping sound. So string muting is a big aspect. You can think of yeah. this as cutting off or the decay of a note, how long it lasts. And if a note drops and here's the middle of the beat, you have in front of the beat and behind the beat. Mm -hmm. So a note could be right on the beat or it could be a, a little ahead of the beat these are all different ways in which the groove is basically established between multiple players or even one player they're sort mm -hmm. of they're sure. emphasizing these areas of a beat right so when we talk about uh string muting stopping sound um and just different rhythmic elements learning what a 16th note is learning what staccato means learning what short and long notes are all those things really help you to kind of uh, decode that key that, that divinity's talking about very good. Yeah, and I think one of the best ways to do it before you start thinking. So, so we're talking about, uh, let's say we were talking about language. Now we're talking about the parts of a sentence, right? But when uh -huh. you're a kid, nobody talks about you. You put you put the verb in the wrong place, or you said mm. the noun in the wrong. Like we don't break language down like that. Mm -hmm. So I like, and this is this is this comes directly from from Victor Wooten and, and his uh, and his philosophy about music being a language. Yeah. Just play it. Don't. Mm. Think about, you know, it's not until you get in the third or fourth grade that you start realizing what a preposition is or mm. what a noun or a verb is. First, you're giving the opportunity for a period of time just to learn how to talk. And mm. that's what you're going to be doing is learning how to talk. And I think that's really important. Uh, going with, with what Victor's saying, instead of language immersion, how about musical immersion? Let's, let's let's live that first. Let's play that. That's fantastic. That's a, that's a great great. Uh, I, I love that he said that. That's a beautiful way of putting it. Here's another question: um, Can you work chords on the bass into a groove? This is from Paul Long. So I, I don't know if it's a challenge or if he's really. <laughs> That's just simple. You feel that groove? Mm -hmm. Pretty South American. Hey. Mm -hmm. So those those are just some simple yeah. E major to uh to D major. Seven, yeah. seven chords. Woo! I kinda like that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, you wanna just be cool. Be cool, be cool, be cool. Hey. Oh, okay, let me stop. But, well, no, but, but, that was, but that was fantastic. No, it was the amount of space in between each chord you played. You created a groove with space more than anything else, right? Yes, space is so important. Yes. That was great. Thank you, Paul. That was that was fun. Okay, so now we've come to the how do we use it portion of the episode. Uh, so once you've established a strong rhythmic feel on your instrument, it opens up the doors for other fun skills, like learning how to sing or even rap while playing. Um, and Divinity, you actually take that, like I said, you, I mean, you take that a step further and you, and you rap while playing bass. How did you work on developing that skill? Woo, it took, it took a lot of time, but the key, <laughs> the key is slowing everything down. I was, a, I started rapping when I was about 12. So I started, you know, that muscle in my, that muscle freestyling and rapping that became inherent. So picking up the bass, I picked up the bass in college and I wanted to marry those two skills. Mm. So I sat down 
with the bass, and I started playing a groove. It started with a groove. So that's my groove. Ooh, that's funky. Hey. <laughs> That's what I was thinking to myself, right? And then I said, oh, well, it's the D I, D I, N I T Y. So you hear the groove in my lyrics? The D I, D I, N I T Y. I'm in between the space. D I, D I, N I T Y. You wanna be I, baby, you can't see I. D I, B I, N I, oh, oh, D I, B I, N I. Oh, 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 hey. D-I. So that's kind of the process. I, I'm messing up on the bass. I'm messing up the lyrics. But eventually, the lyrics and the, the, the for me, the rap, I'm not thinking about the rap. I can mm. rap without thinking about it. Like this gets so deep into your subconscious mind. And the only way this works is because you've trained your brain to push it down into the subconscious mind. Right. Your right. brain is, isn't is just gonna do that. When you first learn something, your brain says, oh, okay, that's cool. You wanna learn how to do that? Okay, well, cool, I'm, I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> right, that's how your brain, your brain works. I mean, and I'm making it super simple. Brain says, okay, well, that was cool. And then you do it again, your brain says, hmm. You really want to do that, huh? You you really want to you really want to hold your hands like that and you want to remember this? Okay, well, okay, we can we can do it. And you and you keep going, your brain says, "Damn, you really want me to do this." So the brain <laughs> starts forming the synapses and the glue and this interweb starts happening in your brain and then it pushes it down to the into the subconscious so it's like you don't even have to think about it anymore. It's like riding a bike. You don't have to think about riding your bike anymore because it's so far in your subconscious. You just kind of do it. It's so that. that's so the rap for me is that and I'm thinking sometimes about what I'm going to play next on the bass. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, oh, here I'm going to do a little lick. OK, here it goes. Do, 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 do. OK, here hmm, I'm mm -hmm. just going to stick. I'm going to stick here. OK, now go do a lick. Ah, you know, so I'm actually setting myself up and looking ahead when I'm playing the bass to see what I'm going to do next. But that, I think that that's next level. It is. You know. It's funny. I, I can tell. I just know how happy Dylan is right now because he got his doctorate and all this stuff. The brain and music. It's it's just you're just so talking. He's like, he's gonna he's gonna melt down right now. I would like to do a study community using your voice as my brain for six months. Oh yes. right. Uh huh. Uh, no, everything you were saying, I loved everything you were saying. And I think, uh, you know, if you're out there and you're watching this and it feels mystified at all, uh, quite a few things that Divinity said are broken down. Uh, for one thing, like if you're on Fender Play and you've got a song that you like that has a backing track, you can just use the backing track as your mm -hmm. own drums, like drum loop. Like you're going to riff over something. <laughs> you can work with two notes and learn how to interlock with that drum set. And that's great. Kind of develop this thing internally that she's talking about that you sort of know when you're in it. And golly, do you know when you're out of it? Oh, um, yes, you do. Oh, the paint starts to come off the walls. Anyways, um, but yeah, so if, if demystification, the Fender Tune app works great because you've got you've got the uh, the um, the drum samples that are excuse me the drum loops that are on there as well as the tuning stuff. But also on the site, you can always access the the backing tracks that are with the songs that you dig. Fantastic, that's a great tip. Um, now uh, we're actually we're getting towards the end of the episode here, uh, I, but I do want to hear more of your divinity. Can you give us just another, just a quick sample of one of your one of your songs here before yeah. we go? Yeah, please. So this song is off of my I'm Possible album and it actually features uh, Victor Wooten. I wasn't oh. gonna play this, but I changed my mind, ha <laughs> ha. Hey. <laughs> so that's the groove, right? Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna... The bass, the rhymes, the beats will free your mind. The future becomes the past, so you can press rewind. I'm out of my mind. Ooh, yeah, I'm out of my mind. I'm from a different space and time. I was born from a whole nother kind. Even if I was declined, I would still continue to shine. Still continue to climb, because that's the way that we grind. It's the way I was designed from the hands of the master of time. And we all go back to the same place that we came from. Rewind. Wow, 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 wow. That was killing, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, I love all the pearls of Thank wisdom you. in there too. You, yeah, it, it, it engages the brain and the body. That's just fantastic work, I think. Um, God, thank you so much for this, Divinity. I, it just, I mean, obviously, you're just, you're just, you're just such a talent, and you're so, oh, and you're you. so informative, and 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 obviously so generous. Thank you for sharing so much. Um, it's and it's time. Oh, oh, but it's time to get to the homework now. All right. 
we had some homework planned, but Divinity, I could hand this over to you, hand the chalk over to you, and you can stand in front of the checkboard. If you want to assign some homework to, to our folks at home, feel free. Well, one of the first things feeling? I would say is to go on go on to the Fender Play. You know, you guys are so lucky. I don't think people realize that this generation yeah. has a site that is going to give you individual tracks to practice to. Some of the masters that we look up to used to have to have a song on a record player and keep dropping the needle on the record player at a certain place in order to learn how to play. So, so this is fantastic, all the mm -hmm. tools you have to make it a little bit easier to learn. So I would say go on to the Fender Play site. And there are a couple of things I want you to do. I want you to pull up a song like Push a Man, for instance. Mm -hmm. And I want you to start playing around with that groove. While you're doing that, I want you to start just playing, embellishing, adding your own flavor to it, finding other notes in there that sound good. Oh. And playing along, playing, just playing around with it. And having fun. Hey. <laughs> you know, having fun. That's what I want you to do more than anything. One of the other things I want you to do is I want you to go and I want you to check out uh, James Brown Sex Machine live. Sure. Sure. And I want you to just sit every day for a week and play along to Bootsy Collins' bass line. Try your best to match it. If you don't match it, it doesn't matter. Just try to stay in the pocket. Pretend like you are on stage with Mr. James Brown. <laughs> the one thing I know about James Brown is when you mess up, he's going to find you. I was going to oh. say, he you're gonna not going to get fined, you. but you're not going to get fined this time. <laughs> you're not going to get fined. Maybe it's it helps free. you. It's free. <laughs> it's free. It's That's free. Great. That's great. That's great. Immerse yourself in Groove. And Immerse there's probably yourself. no better place than James Brown, right? Yes, and when you listen to music, Think about the groove. Analyze what's happening. Think about how the bass player and the drummer are interacting with each other. Where is the guitar sitting? Whatever you're listening to, there is some groove in there and just start being conscious about it. When I was a little girl, there was so much music that had so much bass in it. I used to sit in the car and just try to tap my hands to the rhythm of the, of the bass. I don't know why I was doing that. I didn't play bass. I just wanted to feel the pulse of it so I would just move my body to the pulse of it so I want you guys to really immerse yourself and you know I just want you to think about it like that think about it like language you know every time you said mama wrong your mom it took you a long time to say mama your mom was in her face in your face saying mama mama, mama. you said that uh -huh. that 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 you know like <laughs> you, you to said learn. something totally different but right. nobody punished you for it nobody punished you when mm -hmm. you put when you when you said baba for bottle, mm -hmm. everybody said, OK, well, that's what you're going to call it. We're going to call it that, too. So give yourself some grace mm -hmm. and get in there and have fun. So that's my homework assignment. Bootsy that's Collins and uh, and push a man. I hope that I hope that is in line with. That's perfect. No, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect. Uh, that's fantastic. Okay, now it's time to get to the giveaway. This is so it, it just keeps getting more fun. Uh, oh. Dylan, what do you have for us today? Well, I can tell you for the James Brown challenge, I'll be wearing a cape to make yes. it fun. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm doing that's it. That's where my FUN comes from. And so anyway, so <laughs> if you guys haven't watched the show before, this is the awesome part of the show where we give away something incredible. It's the Fender Play. Uh, a weekly challenge, basically. So if you're a member of Fender Play and you use the site for at least seven minutes, three times, or one streak, you're automatically entered oh. into this contest where you get to uh, nice. be selected by random uh, and you get to pick from guitars, basses, uh, ukuleles, all kinds of gear. There's amplifiers in there too. So um, every week we announce a winner and this week's winner is, do you guys want to know, can I? Yes. Give, yes. give I, me a little bit a little... of chaos. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice. Tom F. Tom F. Tom F. Tom. Tom F. Tom F. Way to go, Tom. Tom yeah. F. Congratulations Wait, so, to you, buddy. So what does Tom win? Well, he, well, he, well, that's just it. He gets to choose, right, Dylan? He gets what? to choose. He gets to pick. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. He can go nuts. I know. Vinny, when you said... Tom gets to business. go on the website and Tom? pick an instrument. 
He's going to get to pick from a wide variety of lovely things. For seven minutes, three times? That's it. Seven minutes, three times. You gotta be kidding and James me. Brown, and James Brown isn't even around to find him. So the world just keeps getting better. It's There's a no capes on there, though. Time to, the no capes. Wow. Yeah, fantastic that's right. time to be alive. Uh, Dylan, what else do you have for us, buddy? Uh, new full songs on the site. New full songs oh, on good, the site. Good, good. If you guys haven't checked out full songs, it's every part of the song broken down so you can learn it uh, individually and then stick all the parts together and make... Make a mush, make a song mush. So this you get the full song. This first one has a groove. This first one's got something that, okay, so see if you can recognize it. So. Does anybody recognize that? Maybe if I do this. It's my girl by the yes. time. Yes. It was like yes. an NPR Ooh. version of my girl you've had. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to, you know. <laughs> NPR version. This is my girl. <laughs> what this, other full right. song do we what uh, other full so, song do we have? Another awesome song, another new song on the site is uh The Blower's Daughter, which is from the feature film uh Closer with uh, by Damien Rice. So that's definitely one to check out if you want to get a little sentimental. There's a groove in there too. You can get you can get sentimental and groove. Yeah. Learn it and, get, and make it even groovier if you want. Yeah. Um, thank you, Dylan. Thank you so much. And uh, and a huge thank you, obviously, to Divinity for coming on the show. Thank you. Uh, Divinity, tell, us about, tell, tell us what's coming up. Tell us about that album, uh, the, the children's album you've done. So I'm working on a children's album that'll be coming out in the fall. Okay. I'm not going to tell you the name of it because it might change, but I want you to be looking out for it. You can find it on all the places where music is sold, divinityrocks.com. Please sign up to my mailing list so you can know when the album is going to drop. And I'm also working on um, on another album and a one-woman stage show. I'm working on a bunch of projects right now. Um, but yeah, if you follow me, divinityrocks.com, at DiviRocks on all of the other socials, and uh, and keep in touch. And ask me questions. DM DM me. I'm always down to an answer answer your questions. Is and how do yes. I get to get in that contest, though? No, I, I know. To, that's well, the, look, I'm, I'm, get in I've that been contest. <laughs> been hanging around the show for a year still waiting at it. although they have dropped a few things off i i just hope i hope tom doesn't ask for this one because i kind of don't want to part with it that's that's my only word i won't tell if you won't thank you all right yeah. everyone well, again thank you to divinity thank you uh, so much to, to dylan thank you to our crew thank you for uh to our viewers thank you so much for hanging thank out you. with us um i want everyone to keep safe i want you to keep practicing and we'll see you next time at the same time in the same place every we normally play out on g chord but i actually want to hear divinity just take us out on a on a on a groove in g oh man i was looking forward to the g chord man no, okay you know that's the hump the hump the hump dance. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we're probably all out of time because of Zoom. <laughs> <laughs>